Hey guys, welcome back to another laser install video. This is a 1500 watt Prima machine with a Rekus power source and this one's headed up to James Walters up in Ashland, Missouri. And uh, while you see this getting loaded up here and uh, some of the transport and and beginning to unload it, just wanted to talk for a minute about, uh, I've mentioned this in a, in a few videos before, but uh, you know, just another opportunity here to repeat this experience where you're getting to make friends you know you're you're I mean it, it's pretty special what I'm getting a chance to be a part of and you know like I'm pretty selective also about who I will work with oh, okay. and and often uh, turn down opportunities to sell machines to some people or some companies because you know you're, you're looking to create a partnership and a friendship and a family that uh, when you call them or they call you, uh, maybe they have a quick question, but there's a lot more that goes on about, you know, discussing how the status of their business is, how the machines are running, you know, and it's just an ongoing friendship and partnership. And that certainly is the case here. And uh, I got a chance to work with these guys. This is James Walters and his wife, Stacy. Uh, again, could not have been treated any more hospitable and you know just open their home up invite me in to dinner multiple times um you know home cooked meals and um you know just uh just can't say enough about these guys <clears throat> and then the other you know kind of interesting and fun thing is is this little community that's near uh columbia missouri you know where the university is there I'm Gary, would you mind doing me a favor and hold it? And a very close-knit, uh, you know, kind of a rural area, a little bit out in the country. And uh, all the other guys that you see in this video are neighbors and friends that all came together, you know, with various resources to, to bring to bear, uh, you know, like the acquisition of the uh, telehandler that you see and, uh, you know, just the extra resources and consultation of of guys um you know to uh, get this pulled off so uh, forgive me a little bit the words are not flowing out today so just anyway um so you see the uh the this is a 12k i believe it's 12k uh, telehandler here and um you know, we're just going to lift the laser and its cabinet up and get it up in the air and then uh go ahead and just drive the truck out from under it and uh, it worked out great and then set it down on some uh, they actually use some uh, not dollies uh, like machine moving dollies but they use some uh, some other like uh, car moving dollies or big truck moving dollies and uh, and some blocking and that worked well to be able to get it positioned into the shop Now, so here you see the uh, air compressor getting loaded. If you go back uh, in my channel, just I think two videos back, I, I had a dedicated Jesus, stuttering like crazy. I had a dedicated video to the air compressor unloading and, uh, and installation. And so if you want to go back and see more videos about the uh, air compressor, you can go check that out. We're going to move on to the rest of the laser 
install now and show you the you know get the final positioning into place and then uh, you know the process to get uh, going and I, I gotta you know say that these guys uh, sort of busted me uh, I've, I've had this reputation of going around you know when the uh, owners there uh, of the property are not there they often have a lot of neat tools so you know I usually uh, when they're not looking to load up and get some of their tools and I think James and his family and everybody around there probably knew about my reputation for doing that and they put some measures in place to uh, catch me if I tried it there and you're gonna you're gonna see how I got busted on that All right, so after the machine was in place, we got to started putting all the wiring together. And this is just showing you a little look right in the middle of, uh, I think we just had mounted the laser head. And um, we ran into a couple of uh, wiring related issues related to the power source and the chiller. Uh, this shop has a three phase uh, converter. And you can see that it you know, started to cut that hole there and then didn't finish it and uh, you see it didn't cut that one at all. We were getting an alarm on the laser source and again it, uh, it came back to some, the laser source was saying it was detecting instable voltages. So we were checking every, everything out and elected to move the chiller out onto its own circuit. It's a single phase 220 uh, machine and so we just elected to do that and um you know and that worked out pretty well so just kind of showing you some of the troubleshooting that we were doing working back and forth with uh, prima over chat and this was at night and then uh so anyway we we worked through a lot of that and and got a lot of that resolved but um i was there that night uh working in there for a period of time alone and i thought that was going to be my my shot you know I, I, I saw several things that I thought I wanted and my you know my truck was right outside I was just gonna load up you know some um, some tools and things that you know just get myself some extra payment and um, you can take a look at the uh, voltages that we're looking at here we should have somewhere around 400 volts uh, coming out of the the uh, unit and then here's the chiller that we ended up moving on to its own circuit and that really solved most of our problems when we did that, but here's where I get busted. I'm over here just unpackaging some stuff. And, uh, got somebody checking me out. And then if I go back over here where I was doing wiring, notice. So I'm sitting in this chair, kind of fooling around with these wires right here, getting them in place. Get to sit down here and look. Mm -hmm. Full supervision. All right, so continuing on with the uh, install process, uh, worked through some little issues getting things to cut uh, correctly, and then it was on to just dialing in the materials for the machine. And uh, so I'm just going to let the rest of the video play out here, and then uh, you know we'll wrap it up at the end. Here's another little weird problem that we were having, um, getting some wavy cuts in certain places. And man, we, we took the motors off of this thing, double checked the gear rack mesh and, you know, the coupler for the motor gear to the shaft, all that, you know, looked perfect. But we were fighting this issue and could not resolve it. And I don't know if you've been following along on WeChat or not, but we've got these little weird issues just randomly popping up. On WeChat? And uh, no, I'm talking the video. So what it turned out to be after lots of taking stuff apart and all that is with compressed air, it was shaking it just enough. And you couldn't really see it for whatever reason, but this whole line right here, some, we, we put a clamp on it and cut all those out.
All right, guys, this is going to wrap up this video. Just a couple things to finish up on. If you're looking to get a fiber laser, you can send me an email. And I just wanted to give you some takeaways uh, here from, uh, from this video, lessons learned. Uh, so number one, don't try to steal anything from your customer if they've got a mean guard dog. Uh, and then uh, number two, if you're having a little problem of some kind, don't go tearing the whole machine apart before you check the basics. Do you notice there when the when I showed that, you know, the slats in this thing were inserted more loosely than most of the other machines I've seen. And those loose slats were allowing those little small <clears throat> scrap piece and pieces we were using to, to move around. But you can see the comparison of oxygen and all that. But these guys are running wide open. They've got tons and tons of orders coming in. And then the uh, last takeaway is number one objective, make the wife happy. If you make your customer's wife happy, you'll have a customer for life. I mean, there's some kind of saying, what is it? Happy life or happy wife, happy life. All right, guys, email me if I can help you. Take care.